Tia Mowry and her estranged husband, Corey Hardrick, are continuing to spread love amid news that they are separating. The All-American actor showed his appreciation for the Sister Sister star during an Instagram Live this week. Okay, I love my beautiful family. Love my kids, love my wife, I love all you guys. This isn't the first time the pair have shown that they might be on good terms despite going their separate ways. Just last week, Tia and the 42-year-old actor had a sweet interaction on Instagram after she thanked fans for their love and support since announcing their split. Every book starts with a dedication page, and this one's dedicated to you. My friends, family, and community, the outpouring of love I received from you over the last week has been so encouraging and humbling. I'm so grateful to you all. New book, first chapter to follow, she wrote. The mom of two seemed to be alluding to her recent divorce news, and her ex shared his love on her post, commenting a black heart and star emoji, to which the 44-year-old actress replied writing, I love you. The sign of support comes just weeks after Tia announced the couple were breaking up on October 5th. The pair got married in 2008 and are parents to 11-year-old Cree and 4-year-old Cairo. Access Hollywood's Zuri Hall spoke with the game alum days before she announced her divorce at Variety's Power of Women event, and she revealed that she had been setting more boundaries for herself recently. Two people told me in New York that I was going. What's the difference? What, what is it? You know what it is? It's self-love. Mm, okay. I'm really, really just focusing on setting boundaries. Mm. And they're hard to do sometimes. Very. I mean, I'm in my 40s and I'm just now learning. So 40 where, but continue. All of you ladies out there, no matter how old you are, start now. It's, it's really giving me peace, joy. Yeah, so I would say that. I'm glad that you brought up self-love because I've been asking all of the ladies down the carpet, when in the last year have you felt most empowered? I've found that when I'm setting those boundaries, I feel it absolutely. But for you, when you think about the good, the bad, and the ugly of your life this last year, when have you felt strongest, most powerful? I would say definitely during childbirth. Um, you know, I've had infertility issues. I've been very open about that. So it was very challenging for me, for both of my children. It was very empowering because I never gave up.